Hey everyone, so we're getting ready to go home, packing because we're leaving tomorrow to get off the ship. Aww. But I wanted to bring you guys a quick topic um, that I thought about when I was getting ready to go home. And the topic is those that feel they can't take off to go on a cruise, take off for work that is. And I feel that I have some tips that can help you do so that, you know, that's real simple that maybe you didn't think about. So first off, um, for those that can't take a lot of time off of work but want to take a vacation, the three and four day cruises are definitely going to be your best friend. I recommend that you, you know, contact your travel agent, which may be me. Or, you know, do some research of your own. Um, but definitely, your travel agent can help you search for the dates and the locations that the ship would be leaving from around the time that you want to take off. So, for example, if you only can maybe take three days off of work, um, or maybe you have vacation time that you can split up and pick what days you want throughout the year, um, you can take a cruise that starts on a Thursday and ends on a Monday. So, for example, that's Thursday, Friday, maybe you're off on weekends already, and Monday. So that's just using three vacation days plus your days off. So for, you, for some of you that don't have weekends off, you can also use this, these same tips and uh, pretty much get a small vacation together around the days you have off. And um, I feel if you connect the days you have off with the vacation days that you're gonna take, you can actually get two whole vacations out of the days you may usually use for one vacation. So if you use three days here on this vacation attached to your days off and three days there for another vacation later in the year, that's only six vacation days but you can get two cruises out of those days. You understand? And then some of you have the luxury of switching with coworkers um, and being able to attach more time onto those days. And some people even work um, to accumulate days versus getting paid overtime. So, you know, just getting your mind working around the things that you can use to um, make your vacation a little better or for those that feel they can't take days off, I recommend a three-day cruise or four-day cruise. And some three-day cruises, um, they go overnight. So wherever you're, you know, visiting, you can go overnight and, and really utilize that time that you're, you know, at sea and, uh, you know, have a great time for one night. So that's just a tip for a three-day cruise. And a four-day cruise you know, nine out of ten, you're hitting up one, one or two locations, and you know you can get to have fun that way and, and see a lot during those four days. So, um, again, I think it's doable for those that feel that they can't take a vacation. Four day cruises, three day cruises are your best friend. Okay, if you need extra tips and extra help, feel free to hit me up at Families and Friends Travels on Facebook. And I'll be definitely happy to help you find the right cruise for you. All right, guys. See you soon.